Welcome back to Eclipse. I see our friend has uh, glitched. He's still a zombie that's down, but he's got the whole glitch where he doesn't load back in properly. That's fine. Okay, so I have a couple of things. Um, firstly, I did see a note about... Uh, so I was looking at the walkthrough, right? Because I have no idea where this is user station here. I've got a hint as to where the user station is here. I don't know exactly where. Oh, the T. The, the place with the big T, right? Where was that? That was the other door that I completely forgot last session. That must be it. Must be what I was referring to. It said... I don't think the, I don't think the hint is telling me. Again, if I had a map, it would have been easier. It would have marked where the damn place was on the map. Was it through here? No, we've been in there. Ugh. Well, again, we're not having to sneak, so it's just mildly tedious. Um, through here? No, because that's, that's that door. Okay. The place, the, the thing was saying through here, near this, near this building. It was out this way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just said there was this electrical. Oh, I didn't even notice this went all the way. I thought it stopped there. I didn't see that the cable continued all the way here and actually along to the gate. Okay, so. It would have been... I don't know how I didn't see that lot before. I only saw this section. Weird. So it would have been visible... Um... That the power came from here. Why is this a station? What makes this a station? Why would I expect station key to come here? But I've completely forgotten this place existed. Um, but... Hello. Okay, we've got some more friends. This is quiet floor, right? Yes, good. We can deal with more friends. Mm -hmm. Anyone hear that? I did hear a faint noise, but it's just a truck backing up outside. <laughs> Making a kind of a white noise kind of reverser. Reverse alarm. Which for a moment sounded like a uh, one of these guys getting angry. Okay, well we've got someone new to explore. Not a door. Hello. Oh, for for painting. All right, we're getting close. We're eight eight gold short of our of our loot goal. So, and finally feeling like the loot goal might be achievable. Hello, this looks dangerous. Ah, there's somebody uh, entirely alive here with a book. Before we deal with the book, sorry, I'm gonna have to stand on your head so I don't hit the kill. There we are. Now we'll read your diary. The town is a shambles. There's simply no other way to set. Deputy Marmon and Apache have done all we can to contain this new threat. To protect what citizens remain here, the West Gate is closed. It will have to remain closed until, well, until help arrives and everything is cleared again. The military should be here any day now. Not as if we're terribly isolated here, or that we're such a small town no one knows what's been going on here. The West Gate has our only hope for containment. Fortunately, the only way to open the gate is to use the power plant's control panel, and the deputy and I are the only ones who know that. And even if somebody wished to open the gate, that old kook Riley Hansen has covered all of Old Town in those awful homemade traps of his. It'd be nearly impossible to get through without breaking your neck. So I suppose I owe the old fellow a small debt of gratitude. At least something he did paid off in the end. The townsfolk have been trying to protect themselves with tripwires, alarm bells, that sort of thing. It's all homemade or rubbish, except, like I said, old man Hansen's traps. That old geezer was out trapping bears and wild pigs until a few months ago when his arthritis hit him bad. But I stray. The town is covered in shoddy traps, and anyone foolish enough to go wandering without paying close attention to where they're going is liable to break a leg. Or worse. In any case, there's much worse out there than strings and wires and rocks and arrows. I'm sure of it. Much worse. Objective complete? Oh, we pieced together the information on what happened in Port Erin. Like, well, Garrett thinks he does. I don't feel that I do. I don't feel like... I mean, these things came from somewhere and killed everybody, but that's... That's... 
not really telling me much. That, that's... I don't feel like I know anything more about what actually happened here than I did the moment I set foot in town. And there's Hello Girl. Well, I will take it. Take the objectives complete. All we got to do is find evidence to keep us all involved and find a way out. Which now... Apparently we've got to get to the, we've got to get to the power station, right? I don't know what you call it, because this is the station, right? Is this just meant to be the same building, just the other side of it? Maybe. Maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, so there's nothing else. That was a fake door, so we've got to go down, I suppose. Oh. Oh, there's a ladder. Um. Do you want to find what's his name's where's key? I don't know if I'll find it in here. I guess we'll just keep going and see. I don't really know the location. I had a. The walkthrough described a place, but I don't know where the description applies to. Feels like turning this on. There's a switch here. Might be turning lights on that I don't want to have on just at the moment. I guess we read the instruction manual first. Tell one. Seamus Farkle. In custody. Oh, this is the watch station. Right. That kind of station. Arrested for attempted breaking and entering at Eric's power plant with intent to overload the grid. Cell 2. Callus is out. Released. Suspicion of thievery of Gem's necklace belonging to the wife of M. Orithil. Orithil admitted two days later to misplacing the necklace. All charges dropped. Cell 3. Marcus Rain. Released. Arrested for loitering and suspicious behaviour. All charges dropped because of lack of evidence. these noises? Oh, hello. Where did you come from? <laughs> don't know, babe. I know where you're going. Down. Are well, you just hanging out in here? This is cell one. It's going custody. But why is there a cell four with somebody in it? With no description. Corpse. Well, some moss arrows. I don't I haven't had any news for the many moss arrows yet. I guess you're you're one of the one of the watch officers, clearly. Uh, okay, I guess we can turn the lights on. Oh, you've got a key. Access key. Access key. Oh, here's the guy who's trying to get into the power into the uh, the power station. So that'll be the power station access. Right. 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 Okay. Not the Orisil key yet. Um. Where's that letter? But. Oh, did somebody else wake up? So they did. Which way are you facing, man? Anyone else was on? So how do you get up there? Is it not possible to get up there? Because that just kind of looks like a place you could get to. And yet there seems to be absolutely no sign of Upper floor access. Right, there's a fake door here that's been blocked off. I presume that's kind of supposed to be the upper floor access, or does the elevator shaft actually go up higher? Does not. Interesting. Well, odd architectural choices, but uh, I guess that's all we get in here. We have another key. So. There is supposed to be a balcony somewhere with a skeleton on it, which has the key to Orisil's place. Now, maybe that's the one in Old Town? Maybe not? We 
We can go have a quick look. Oh, the description did say balcony with three pipes or something like that. Which does not ring a bell to me. There's no skeletons on this balcony. There's no there's nobody at all on that balcony. Okay, maybe it's near Orisil's place, I don't know. I will I will take a quick look around before we go to uh uh, attempt to get to the power station, which, I mean, I guess the power station is here. I should go look at it now, but no. I want to find this Orotil's key if I can before then, because the power station is controlling the west gate, which is our way out, which is going to be end of mission, right? I mean, there's a balcony, but we weren't supposed to get up to this one. It doesn't have a skeleton on it anyway. So let's keep looking around. This place doesn't have a balcony. Did this... Did this building have a balcony? It's been a long time since I was in here. It does have an upstairs. Right, it's got a door there, which presumably would be to a balcony, but we don't... Not a place that we can access. I mean, yeah, there's a balcony up there for sure, but... Wait a minute, I've forgotten which way I was going through here. Right, there was this place that I wasn't supposed to be mapping, right? Is that right? It's kind of out of bounds. Did, did get a, a brief moment of Garrett thinking he could climb something there. First time. There we go. No, okay. There is something on top to prevent it. I'm sure that's not then where we're going. These ones don't have people on them. You've moved. Convenient place. Now here's three pipes, but this has not got a uh, body near it. <laughs> and there's nothing here. I didn't actually walk into these. Do these explode? Ah! No, but they do kill me. Which you know, it's fair enough. <laughs> well, they've they've glitched again. Um, well, if I can't find it quickly, there's this, there's this one, I couldn't get up here, right? This has got lots of pipes. Ah, oh, yeah, right, because it was the, uh, I can get, I can do this, maybe I'm supposed to stack, I'm surely not supposed to stack stuff to get up here, this is going to be it. This is going to be the it, but how am I supposed to get there? The proper way. Is that, is that an openable? Maybe that's an openable thing. Let's go around to the uh, Old Town interior. Because I, I remember saying, I guess we'll get there once we once we can get into Old Town, right? It's just over here. Just up there. I mean, I could stack crates and try and get there. 
Right, that's, that is also just up there. Is there another side? Is there no, another exit? This is not get showing up. That's gotta be the key that we're looking for, but there's no exit on this side, is there? Not, I didn't miss anything like uh, access panel or anything at all. No. All right. Well, let's take our crates and try stacking them up there and see if, see if we can. Uh... Oh! I don't know what I'm, what's catching my head there, but it's very annoying. That's fine. Okay. See if we can make a climbable tower of crates here. Does make it manageable. Okay, that's probably how you're supposed to get up here. Although that looks way more climbable, especially with the crates there, than that. I see, and now we have food, which I will gladly chew on, see if we get any healing out of it. Not, not even one piece. And we have our seals key. Okay, I saw this and thought that would be a duck, but no. Okay. We can also mantle that, which is maybe not right. I think we're out of uh, out of the room brush now. Yes, this is definitely out of bounds. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to get here. It's very odd. Are you, are you supposed to be able to climb up on here and like this? Oh, is that all you're supposed to do? Mantle this. Oh, it doesn't mantle from this side. It just won't. It will. Uh, well, sort of will. Hmm. See, this this fence, I don't think, would have been mantleable in, in Old Dark, so... Well, anyway, we've got the key. Um, so we need to dismantle this so we can... <laughs> After all the mantling, we're now dismantling. Ho oh, ho ho! Uh... And pun not intended, but I'll take it. Now we finally have that key to satisfy my curiosity about. He is. That's not where I left him. He is now being really creepy and. Uh. uh what's him call it? Um, weeping angel, we weeping angel. Here. That's what I was looking for. He's moving when he, when I'm not looking. Maybe that is where I left him. No, it isn't. Right, I left him right here. Done, huh? That's weird. Uh, wrong key. Finally! Alright, this will be good for our loot goal. Can't lock the door behind us because it takes the keys away. We can't read the book, but who needs to read a book? Oh, hang on, look at banners. Any more? There's a window there that we can, uh... Well, we might be able to look at it if we can climb on the table, but we can't, don't seem to be able to climb on this table at all. Never mind, I suppose. Oop. Big banner. He almost escaped my attention. Hey, Beric. Water arrows healing potion. A little, a little late, but... Okay, I'll take it. Sword. Some valuables, key drop, a couple of flash bombs, maybe some more loot. 
All right, back to full health again. And the horn of Quintus is just staying right there because Garrett is not feeling horny enough right now. Okay. Oh, and more, just another piece of loot through there that we, I don't think we can break this down. It looks like it, like it's not an object. Oh, it is an object. But maybe it won't break. Yeah, it seems too solid. All right. Well, there we go. Thanks for the walkthrough. I would, I would never have found that otherwise. I mean, I'd seen it and then for, probably forgotten it because I can't take notes. Um, but that's sort of it. It's not super important. Um, well, it's good that it's sorted out. It's finally, finally ticked off the list. We had hit the loot goal, so without it. Um, I'm gonna get back to the old town. Not this way. I'm not, why am I all turned back? And it's down this way. That's it. Why can't I just check the map to remind myself of where to go? Where is our creepy friend? Are they have they moved again? It's the last spot of them. Nope, they're still just there. All right. Should be finishing soon, I suppose. Finally, get to the electrical station. We can open the west gates. I can remember where the west gate even is. Access key. That's all metal floor. That's not great. Metal floors everywhere in here. Seems to be. I'm sure we're going to meet some more enemies in the air, so those moss arrows are going to be necessary. We've only got three, so we're going to have to conserve them, use them when necessary. Can't hear anybody, obviously, here. Lots of flashy lights. Somebody playing the organ really badly. Or maybe some electric arcing. There's somebody right there. One of our friends patrolling back and forth. Primary power, water regulation, emergency overrides, waste management, unauthorized use is unauthorized. Shocker. Oh, there's somebody there as well. Half stuck in the floor. Particle beams going across here. It does look like particle beams shooting across. Something down below as well. Maybe it's not a particle beam, maybe it's just blowing it from the fan. Okay. Down below is very angry. 
he saw me. Don't know what he intends to do about it. Of course, there's super bright lights. Oh, he's trying to get to me, but he can't. Oh, maybe he can get up there. Oh, there's two of them. Super hostile level where it's all really loud and bright. Fun. Let's throw another moss so I can do this quickly. Okay. Yeah, he's right there. They're obviously having trouble passing on the bridge though, so. I guess I'll take that as a kindness. Even if it's not intentional. Ah, save my ears. So I'm just going to sit here for a minute and give them time to calm down so I can get up behind them. Because otherwise in that tiny tight space I don't think I'm going to have much luck getting it anywhere. So. It may have calmed down enough, I'm not sure. Being a metal floor, who knows? I think one moss left. Oh no, this is stone. I think this is stone. Yeah, okay. Is this metal? No, also stone. What about the floor out there? Also stone, okay. It's not so bad then. So he's back to his patrol, we can probably get him in the back. Where scaffold. I hear the other guy too. He's got ranged attacks. All right. Maybe we have to give him a bit more time to calm down because the backstep did not, did not apparently work. Huge drop doesn't explode them. That's that's sad. Useless to drop. Where's his friend? So he's patrolling back and forth. Oh, is his friend just standing there? Yeah, just standing there looking this way. Nevertheless. Probably do not want to drop in there. Why is he going to a search pattern for a second? That's pretty good. I can flash bomb them. Maybe I, maybe I should maybe I should use my flash bombs. We'll try the back step on this guy again, and then flash bomb the two of them, and then whack them. Just whack the hell out. Of them. <laughs> I got him. 
Can't see. All right, we've got flares. Let's check. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, they're kind of glitching a little, but there we go. Emergency is only like override Westgate override. All right. Blowing out, or was that their bodies? Kind of... Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't actually kill him. I couldn't see that sign. Ah, so the flash bombs just blind me. Don't actually hurt them. Okay. Quick save. If I. Right, I thought their bodies were like decomposing and blowing away. It was just a flare getting blown out. All right. Well, I guess we better take through two drop tests just because, like, the west gate's surely not not what we need, right? Okay. The gate we're gonna need is. Yeah, so these particles going across, it just meant like there's dust and stuff, but of course, seeing as we've had particle systems being, you know, insta-kill traps before. Oh, there's that guy still. Bit of moss here, maybe I will. He can't do anything to me, right? Oh, he absolutely could. I didn't even realize he had a door here. Oh, we got him. Northgate override. Oh, well, I didn't really care about that. So close now. The demons seek to gain control of the power grid. They wish to disable the barrier we have placed upon the west gate. The foolish demons should know that our ways are not within the restrictions of such engineering. I entrusted Phineas in the town's clock tower with the object to disable our barrier in an absolute emergency, but I still have the key in case he tried to escape on his own. No one can leave, else the entire world is at risk, and their numbers are increasing. Just now I had to flee from the main power room due to some demons gaining access. Of course, as a guardian, it was easy to slip by with stealth, but I believe my pendant lost itself somewhere in that room. Hopefully no demon finds it and discovers that they are not alone here. Guardian Anetheus. Who are these guardians? Are they like... Keepers, ex keepers. Also, hey, my uh, health, huh? <laughs> what am I looking at here? I'll just dials. Ah, the safe key. Finally, we have the key to the safe. We know where the safe is. That's going to be the thing to open the west gate, I suppose. But you mentioned dependent. We we better get back for. I don't remember finding any loot in this room. Very important to go back and, and, and locate it. Probably down one of the fan shafts. Don't see it. Ah, there we go. Objective complete. Find evidence that the keeper's involved. I see. That's the evidence we need. All right. I guess that was mandatory. We're almost dead. And we've got to get out of here. And I don't know that... I half expect there might be some more people. Well, that was a waste of a moss arrow, but it doesn't matter. It should have been... Uh... Why did I miss that there was a door here? I don't know. Maybe... It's, maybe... Whatever. There may be some more demons lurking around. So let's go slowly. Um, 
can't remember what I was saying. Don't want flash bombs still. The flares are more useless than helpful. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back and find the way to escape. What's this sound I'm hearing? This is new. What? Is happening there? Uh, a portal is open. Do I jump in? I guess not. Yeah, we've got some more guys around. They came out of the portal, was the idea. I can hear him. There's noises, I can't see where he is. Oh, he seems to be in that room, in that building. It is, and the compass doesn't help because the compass can't read it. Am I going east or west? When I face... Is that west? Am I facing west or am I facing east? Because I would have said that's facing east. But... Oh, wow. Well. Beast friend is definitely back up and about and... and active. Well, I think we can, we can manage him. Oh, he's searching for stuff as well. I'm sorry, there's somebody in the... Uh... In the pub there. That's the west gate there, isn't it? All right, well, let's not try that approach. Maybe we can flash bomb him. Maybe we can set him on fire. Can we set him on fire? No. Ow. We can flash bomb him. And miss him with our sword. Oh, he's made of stone. Alright, he's not really going to be killable, it seems. I don't know, something... Something's very funny about his behaviour. And whatever he's made of. Maybe he's just patrolling out there. Yeah, maybe he's not actually in the search of team, maybe he's just a, a new patrol. Doesn't seem to be the case here. Oh, we gotta go back to the safe. Who, who had the safe? I've forgotten who had the safe. Um, it was one of the... Uh, it was the guy who... It was ground floor building, right? One of the ones near near the... It was the one that we went into to get on the roof of the electric place. You know what? We can silence this floor. Okay, so I know roughly where it is. I don't know... Oh, there's, the, there's our... There's our, uh, our other guy. Right, our old... Old friend. That's not the place with the safe. Is that 
Las puestas are safe. Oh, I know. God, noises. Out this way. I don't know why that keeps starting and stopping making noise, but it's kind of annoying. Down here, I think. There's probably some new friends around here as well. No, not my... Right, that's the hammer right place. So it's across this roof, it's up in there. It? Am I misremembering? <laughs> oh, is this 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 building I was walking by? Yeah, I don't remember the way in. I mean, except this way. So we'll go in the roof. <laughs> this guy had the safe down on this ground floor, right? Yeah, this is the one. Well, it seems clear. Ah, oh, there's the door. Aha. Uh -huh. Unknown object? Well, uh, I think we never know what to do with that. Okay, so even if we had managed to be uh, being able to get in there beforehand, it would not have helped us. Alright, oh, turn right from here was the front door. It's like, I don't know where the front door is. It would not have helped us because to get we would have needed to turn the power on anyway to turn off the electric barriers, I guess. The uh, thing spinning around above the bottle is really cool. It uh, makes it so much better than just a spinny thing on the ground. All right, where is our? He is so he is so wandering around when we're not looking. It's so, it's amazingly creepy, and I'm pretty sure it's entirely unintended. That it's just a uh, never glitch uh, from us knocking him down and then reloading because zombie scripting is that weird. But here we go. I guess we let everybody out into the. Barriers down, the gate is open, we're gonna let all the bad things out into the world, right? But hey, the world can look after itself. We've got our loot. We can get out of town. There's a lot of them. Hey, look at that, they're killing the city watch. Oh, they're also killing the people of the city, that's less good. What did they expect? I'm a survivor, not a martyr. Well, uh, I guess Garrett's gonna have a lot more backstabbing to do when we get back to the city. But hey, well, imagine all this loot in the city free for the taking. Isn't that gonna be great? Um. 
All right, well, I guess we kind of figured, figured out what was happening. There's, I don't really understand the story. Somebody opened the portal and it killed all the guys in the town and then... Question mark? Question mark? They tried... Someone closed the portal and they tried... The monsters tried to, tried to open it again but couldn't find the stuff and Garrett... I don't even remember why we went here. I have to be honest, it's been so many dis disjointed sessions and so much just losing track of what's going on and frustration with trying to figure out what I can do next um, that I don't think I have any kind of handle on the story whatsoever. Um, but hey, we got out with uh, 2600 out of 2900, not, not super terrible. I don't know where you're hiding the rest of that loot, but... Fair enough. 25 others killed. Uh, I'm very glad that... Uh, that uh, having read the, in the walkthrough that we could backstab him, because, uh, God, I would have... <laughs> the mission had already lost me, right? Because I've just had so much uh, chasing... unknown things, not knowing where to go, how to... Even when I got, you know, find a named key, not knowing where to use it. Because it's on a door that I'd forgotten about because I hadn't seen it in two hours. And I couldn't take notes and there wasn't a map. And, uh, yeah. It was very frustrating. Um, I don't know. Because it started off, like, the opening... The opening of the town being deserted. And you're never quite sure if it's fully deserted. Is really strong. Especially if it gives you that sneak preview right, right at the start when you turn the lights on of something out there leaves you on edge. Um, which is cool. And then... Evading all the traps in the, in the old town was also really cool. I mean... Ravenholm was such a good level in, in Half-Life 2 and it could have been... Uh, you know, more games <laughs> need to do that. And to be honest, Thief, with, with Gareth's ability to climb and mantle and rope arrow around things, Having a having a a Ravenholm style trap town with traps you gotta evade and then can also use against enemies is a really solid idea. I don't think this pulled it off quite in, well enough, but it did enough to give me the vibe of it and gave me some good times jumping over tripwires and stuff like that. Um, it's a shame that the traps were more insta kill, so you, if you discover one by accident, you you know it's there and you don't just like set one off and lose a little bit of health and. Except as a setback, you just have to reload and avoid it. Yeah, insta kills. Just never really a good idea. But anyway, cool. That was eclipsed. Um, and I guess we're done. So thanks very much for watching, and um, hope you'll join me here soon for whatever the next mission turns out to be. See you then.